Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anuj. I'm going to be taking you through a day in my life, studying and being productive. If you didn't know, I'm a second year MBBS student at GMC Nagpur, and thank you for being here. So I somehow managed to wake up in this chilly winter morning, brush my teeth, and went downstairs. Enjoy chole and parathe, which my mom had made for me. Next, I went outside to do some quick errands. Came back inside and taught my brother some basic algebra. It was refreshing to do some math in the morning because it's been literally years since I've solved something like that. All right, time to get on to my syllabus. I packed my plant oxygen for being a very good plant. Next, I write a to-do list and stick it on the side of my library. And finally, here we go. So the subject that I'm going to be doing over here is actually patho. And there are two books of patho which I'm using, Robbins and Harshwan. Apart from that, the third book which you can see me reading over here is actually the previous year question bank. So here, I'm focusing more on the board examinations which lie immediately in front of me. What I'm doing over here is I'm actually reading the book and finding out which topics have been asked previously in the examinations as the topics which have already been asked have a tendency to come back again. And doing this will help me nail those questions if they come back again. If this is the index of your textbook, there are a lot of things that you have to read. But only a few things are very very high yield and most of the questions are concentrated from that topic. That's what reviewing previous year books helps me do. Here I'm marking the same thing on my Robins. This is actually one of the last chapters of the book, the central nervous system. And here I'm marking out all the important things that have been asked from this chapter. For example, meningiomas, gliomas and various infections. Apart from that, I also mark out some of the things which I feel are going to be important when I consider board examinations. Patho can be very fun if you understand the concepts. And usually what happens is that whatever the things that we have studied in first year comes back to us again in second year. In physiology, we would have studied about why myelin is important for the nerve conduction. But in pathology, we study what happens when myelin is destroyed in diseases like multiple sclerosis and the results of it. So everything is interconnected and hence this is called as the integrated approach to learning where you study two different subjects at the same time to allow better permeability across your book brain barrier. Hi everyone, I just completed Central Nervous System from Robbins. I actually did it a while ago, but that was more of a casual read. This was more of a serious read for exams. And shout out to all the people who have been watching this Study With Me series since last year, but actually uh, read the first chapter of Robbins, if you remember, revised the first chapter of Robbins. And now here we are uh, at the end of around a year or so where all of this has finally come to an end. Right now the plan is I have to make a histopathology notebook in my iPad so that I could have more fluent revision of the images. Fluent revision? Okay. Uh, and yeah, gotta go shower and do some more work. Alright, see you. Before I went to shower, I designed some templates for the renovation of our hospital in Nagpur. And finally, in slow motion, I enjoyed my 20 minute hot shower in the cold winter. I made my way downstairs, while Pirates of Caribbean was on on the TV, I had my lunch. Came back up, set up for more recording, and yeah, here we go again. What I'm doing over here is going through systemic pathology right from the start and I'm clicking photos of all the important diagrams that are given over here. We are trained how to identify diseases on the basis of their microscopic appearance. For example, something like pulmonary tuberculosis is an important question from the lung. That means that I also have to practice the diagrams of how the pulmonary tuberculosis looks like under the microscope. And sometimes it gets difficult because everything looks pink and blue. The subject that I'm talking about here is histopath. My heart is beating, I know the pieces. 
But one is broken and one is weak Because I have seen you fall apart I have no rules or part to play I didn't have anything to say Follow your heart Don't overtake it As I was studying my histopathology I got distracted from the phone and spent some time on it and after that my brother came back and asked me some more questions which he had solved while I was studying my own subject You have no answers don't know without you how will I survive All right so it's the evening now and one beautiful scenery I would like to show you is just outside my room if you can catch it then there's a sunset that is going on over there so most of the times i can you know watch the sunset while i'm in my room in the evening if i'm not outside that is so yeah it's very peaceful and let's continue studying so now i have to just import the images into my ipad and start designing stuff all right I bring my new shiny iPad Air 4 and use it to make some notes. Also a review on it coming shortly. What I'm doing over here is importing the images and annotating them so that the textbook can have some explanation of what those images are. I'll use this opportunity to tell you how I make such notes. The simple thing is that take a lot of photos of anything that you want to learn image based and if you really really think about it literally everything can be learned image based way. So what I'm doing over here is that I've imported the photos into my iPad and I'm bringing the images into the app GoodNotes 5 and writing out all the important things about those images so that the next time I go over and read it I have everything I need to know. Whenever I'm confused about anything, I use Google to find out the answers. And if I feel like some information is missing and I need to add it out, I do the same again. This is a very effective method, and if you don't want to try this, you can also try making flashcards on Anki. Again, a review is due and it will be out soon. Finally it's done. All right, so that is done. I did two chapters, that is GIT and lung, and I'm probably going to do more each day and I guess in one week it will be done completely. It's 25th of December and yes, it's Christmas. Well, I'm not Christian, but I do celebrate almost all the festivals that come around. So, me and my brother decorated our Christmas tree which has been here since 2 or 3 years. not much of a decoration just some basic lighting and we finally managed to get it right while i decorated the christmas tree santa blessed me with the power of the flash all right when i came back up i started designing some merchandise for this channel what i'm trying to do over here is using photoshop to design some beautiful t-shirts for you guys let me know if you would be interested in medical themed t-shirts designed by me of course When all of this was done, mom called me downstairs to have my food. And I did have my food sitting next to the beautifully decorated Christmas tree. And with that, this very beautiful day and video came to an end. If you enjoyed this video, you will enjoy the last one even more. So click over here to see that. Apart from that, I just want to thank each and every one of you who continuously watch my videos and support me. I'm truly blessed to have each and every single one of you. So yeah, please hit the thumbs up if you like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because it's going to be a fun ride all throughout. With that being said, as always, stay safe, stay healthy and stay happy. Until next time, I'll see you very very soon.